What's happening guys? I'm Dan. Welcome back to another episode of Poor Michigan Reviews. It's been a couple days since I've actually had a beer. I usually stack some of my reviews on top of each other guys. I drop them day after day to try to be consistent. Today is my day off. I ran a few errands, but I thought it was a good time to crack into some Michigan beer. And we have a beer from Transient Artisan Ales guys. It's going to be the Rye Lager, a Hellas style lager with rye, 4% ABV, no canned on date unfortunately I don't typically see canned on dates from transient but I do feel that this is fresh because it was just dropped in distribution through M4 I'd say it's one to two months old at the worst okay and even if it is older guys it's okay we have a lager or a lager if you will I like the name I like the can art uh, this is coming in around three dollars 29 cents for this can somewhere around there so you might get this for like 11.99 for a four pack Good crack. Let's get into this one, guys. Poor Michigan glassware. You know I'm using it. Time to dive in. Okay. As we're pouring, decent clarity with a little bit of hazy goodness as well. Um, it looks zippy. It looks very tightly compacted. We got this nice, bright white, sudsy head. Dawn soap for days. Very, very dense in the dishwasher there. Beautiful looking beer, guys. Good looking lager with a little bit of golden uh, yellow, a little bit darker on camera as well, a little bit of that caramel amber thrown into the mix as well. Uh, get that hair out of there. That's my dog. Thanks, Knox. And let's go to an aroma through this massive head. Wow. So it smells sweet. It smells a little like herbally, like floral with a little bit of like cereal i always go to this like cereal thing but i'm getting it it's like frosted flakes and like rice krispies oh yeah it, it's the pure cereal without the milk guys i'm getting that quality slight herbal hoppiness but again that sweetness a little bit abrupt on the nose so i don't think i'm going to go into too much more detail it's four percent it's, it's, it's pretty aromatic for being four percent uh, let's dive in cheers Mm. Oh yeah, dude, this is my style. Hellas Lager for days, uh, a biscuity kind of slight caramel maltiness to this beer, but it's sweet bready vibes for days. Uh, but again, that cereal kind of combining with that bready note, uh, it's kind of like a floral bready note, I would say. And then you're getting again that cereal, kind of that frosted flakes sweetness, you know, that little sugar thing touched on it. And then you get the Rice Krispies kind of combined with it to make that cereal bready maltiness kind of clean and crisp as well. It kind of cuts through that sweetness with that uh, kind of slight doughy cereal vibe. I've, I've repeated myself, but that's that's an interesting mouthfeel. Very Hellas like. It's got this nice kind of like herbal spicy note on the back end, a little bit of bitterness, and that's where that rye kind of flexes on this a little bit. I enjoy that. It, it kind of tightens up the back end um, from that sweetness on the front. It's tasty, man. I, first impressions are very good. Mm. I've noticed that I love rye beers. Like I just, I love rye everything. Like rye bourbon barrel aged rye i like uh you know rye bourbon in general so i like when we get that nice little like touch of spice on the back end it gives you a little of that heat you know that little bit of you know jalapeno uh, uh seed on the back end it kind of flexes again uh kind of taking over where the malt left off and finishes the beer off really nicely. Um, I dig this one. I think it's super tasty for being 4%. It tastes like it has much more flavor than 4%, uh, but it's spritzy, a little bit zippy. And again, it got it has more of this body that, than you're accustomed to getting uh, for 4%. It feels so much more than that, but it drinks like it's 4%. So magically more body, more flavor, more boldness, but yet still crushable and clean. Mm. Again, herbal, spicy, kind of floral uh, notes on the bottom and back end. The rye kind of plays into that as well. But it's it's got that nice, almost like amber, kind of doughy cereal vibes on the front. It just, it's a very nice beer from front to back. I really, really enjoy this one, if you can't tell. Uh, 
open and honest, I think this is a four to five out of five. It's freaking tasty, man. It's just delicious. I could drink this all day long, not get tired of it, and it's got a little bit of complexity for being a Hellas Lager, guys, not your typical Hellas. So, uh, 425 out of 5, it is what it is, guys. It's transient. Uh, thanks for being here. I'm Dan. I'm over and out. I'll be sipping this one. Cheers.